weighing scales, what sort of, stand back for me, what sort of weighing scales? Wood. Well, they are made of wood, yeah. They begin with the balancing. Why are they called balancing scales? Ella. Emma Rose? Why? 
So we know it's the lightest because where is it on the balance of scales? Oh, good boy. Right, so Sebastian get it in and put it in. How's that move? No. Right, uh, Logan get it in, put it in. Oh, it rhymes. Put it in.
conkers weighs the same as one tin. Harry, how many tins are in there? One. 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 Okay, so 77 conkers. Brilliant. So, um, we do leave these out for the children just to um, explore throughout the year. We just have the three galvanised buckets and we put different objects in there, um, sort of weekly or two weekly, and they just come up and they just experiment. We don't necessarily always record, um, but they're using that lovely language and they're um, working as a team, building on um, prediction skills, which is what we want. At the moment, in, um, in our school at the moment, we're working really hard to ensure that our math um, is language rich and just from this one piece of equipment you're getting so much English to do with, with measurement and weight and mass um, and it's just from a piece of wood really so it's really, really good. For EYFS they've just been exploring it, they've been looking at it, thinking about how it's going up and down. They ne don't necessarily understand yet that it's heaviest and lightest um, but they're able to think, right, well, I've put three things in here, only two in there and one's gone down, so they're making links. That was a year one group that you just seen to use in a non-standard unit of measure um, from the curriculum. And then moving into year two, it would be really good to do it with um, bags of flour, look at the weights, you could do it with the tins, but look at the weights, add the weights up, or even use little cast iron weights. Um, and use, use the unit of measure.